Hi, my name is Peter Zipfel, and I'm going to take you through what's new in feature release 7.2.10 of the Thermoscientific Chameleon CDS. So before we look at the new features, I'm going to take you through a quick introduction. I'm sure you're already familiar with Chameleon CDS, the gold standard CDS from Thermo Fisher Scientific, and as we all know, it's the most modern CDS platform available. It's designed to provide intelligent functionality while maintaining the rules of operational simplicity. So intelligent functionality means that the software contains smart features to enable you to perform all the tasks you need to do, while operational simplicity is a core design principle, bringing the highest levels of ease of use by applying three simple rules to every feature that is added. These rules are as follows. Minimize the number of steps that are needed to perform any task. Make all these steps easy to understand and easy to use and minimize the time that is needed to perform any task. By using these rules, we can ensure that everything in the software is fast and intuitive. So Chameleon 7.2 was the first CDS to combine separation, that's gas chromatography, iron chromatography and liquid chromatography and mass spectrometry in an enterprise client server environment. And by extending Chromelium beyond chromatography and into MS, you can now streamline your chromatography and MS quantitation workflows with a single software package. The MS support is focused on routine and quantitative workflows, which gives LC, GC and ICMS users access to the existing rich quantitative data processing and automation capabilities of Chromelium. It is the software that made multi-vendor instrument control a must-have for any CDS and still sets the standard for third-party instrument control, supporting over 525 different modules from over 20 different manufacturers. Unique eWorkflow procedures help you streamline your laboratory workflows. These provide a framework for quickly creating sequences that meet your SOP requirements, ensuring the correct methods and reports are used and that the sequence is structured properly. If you want to learn more about how eWorkflows work and how it can help streamline your laboratory, a series of webinars are available in the Chameleon Resource Center at thermofisher.com forward slash chameleon. Finally, a comprehensive suite of tools are provided to ensure full regulatory compliance, which can of course now be applied to your MS data as well. Chameleon CDS version 7.2.10 was released on May of 2019 and added a significant number of new and improved features together with more instrument control drivers and the resolution of several issues. Centered on delivering improved MS workflows, it is also now possible to run Chameleon CDS on the same PC as its Scalibur and TraceFinder software. For full details of all the new and updated features and resolved issues, please take a look at the release notes. So what's new in Chameleon CDS version 7.2.10? Let's go through the new and updated instruments and then see the new features that have been added. So starting with the Thermoscientific TriPlus 500 Headspace Auto Sampler, which was introduced in Chameleon CDS version 7.2.9 driver update A, we now have a more up-to-date driver version that supersedes its predecessor. We also have an update to the Thermo Scientific Trace 1300 GC driver that adds the feature flexible dual control to increase the capabilities when using the dual inlet configuration. This essentially allows sequences to be started in one of three modes, front inlet only, back inlet only, or both inlets simultaneously. In addition to this new feature, the flame ionization detector now supports data acquisition rates of up to 600 Hz to improve application performance. Moving on to the Thermo Scientific Vanquish HPLC instrument, a new updated driver for the Vanquish Auto Sampler has been released. This introduces a new property called nominal loop volume, which is used to check for the maximum possible injection volume in the Chameleon CDS ready check. It's also possible to set the needle height separately for each injection unit in a dual Vanquish auto sampler, expanding on its current application capabilities. We've also updated the VFF10 driver used to control the Thermoscientific Fraction Collector, which now adds support for the cooling configuration, 
including capacity for five new associated rack types. This ensures that sample integrity is maintained for temperature sensitive and precious compounds. Finally, for thermoscientific instruments, there's an update to the ISQ EM driver that simplifies the process for setting parameters relating to the optional APCI source. The easy mode, which is accessed from the Chameleon CDS method editor, can calculate all the relevant settings based on the pump flow value. For third-party hardware control, we start with support for the Varian, Brooker and Scion GC versions. Three new models can now be controlled, the 430, 3900 and 450 GCs. The new driver can be found in the drivers folder found on the Chameleon distributable source media. We can also now control the Perkin Elmer Claris 590 and 690 GCs. Both these configurations are available using the Claris 58590 and the 680690 new driver versions. Concluding the improvements for third party GC control, there's an updated driver for the Agilent 7890. This includes support for the 3510A and the 3511A multimode inlet, the G3440A nitrogen phosphorus detector, and the pressure control module, the G2317A. This will expand on the instrument's capabilities for sample analysis. There are several new features that provide additional support for the LCMS bioanalysis workflow, and I'll briefly cover what these are. Firstly, we have the QC check for terminology persistence. This tracks what terminology has been defined for QC samples in the Chameleon Software's global policies. This was needed since within Chameleon CDS, it's also possible to define a QC as a check standard, and existing installations may already have this setting applied. We also have a new built-in report template specific to bioanalysis. So when creating a new report template, a default predefined report template is available with sheets that are tailored to reporting LCMS bioanalysis results. Finally, we have some new view settings templates designed for handling large data sets. The templates have been added to the contributed content folder of the Chameleon Distributable and can be imported or added to any relevant MS sequence. These view settings include examples for layouts such as a component across all QC samples or unknowns and MS spectra of a component across all injections. Both the report and view settings templates are designed to get users up and running quicker saving valuable time while simplifying the process involved with setup. The QC terminology check provides confidence and consistency by highlighting any change in using a visual message bar which displays whether the stored sequence setting is different from the current settings defined in the Chameleon Administration Console. Another feature that ties neatly not only to bioanalysis, but adds further security to Chameleon CDS, is compliant tuning. This feature now covers the following thermo scientific triple quadrupole mass spectrometers, namely the TSQ Fortis, TSQ Altus, TSQ Quantis, TSQ Endura, and the TSQ Quantiva. It allows the function of tuning or calibration to be accessed directly from a Chameleon ePanel, with the results being stored securely in a Chameleon Data Vault. The actions are also logged into a compliant audit trail, and when this feature is activated, it is not possible to access a tune application outside of the Chameleon software. In addition, We've also added some new user privileges for access to manual tuning and tuning within the sequence. These prevent inappropriate use and restrict access to the tune function for insufficiently trained users. It's also possible to define automatic archiving of the tune results, which works in an identical fashion to the archiving of instrument audit trails and is found in the exact same location via the Chameleon Global Policies found in the Chameleon Administration Console. To enhance the MS experience, there have been further client features added to the software. And I'll start with the new peak shading options available from the peak characterization tab via properties. Peak shading can be applied to all detected or identified peaks in a chromatogram, as well as the identified peaks in all extracted ion chromatograms or XICs of the MS component plot. It makes life easier when viewing data or trying to spot those discrepancies during data review. 
SmartLink functionality has been extended to allow greater flexibility when viewing large data sets, particularly those associated with mass spectrometry. It is now possible to link panes that adapt interactively for a more component-centric data review. You can now choose which injections to include by their type, such as unknown or calibration standard, and it's possible to choose the orientation of the plot layout by peaks per injection or injections per peak. These changes are saved in the Chameleon View Settings file, allowing multiple views to be configured, which are available at the click of a mouse button. So following on with the general MS client features, we have a new MS detection tab via the peak properties pane, which has enabled the application of specific extracted ion chromatogram detection settings. This essentially allows a user to make changes to a particular XIC of interest without it affecting every single peak or XIC in every single injection. So further expanding on the previous slide, we also have the ability to support injection specific detection settings so that precise modifications to a particular component are also now possible. The process of assigning components manually has now been made simpler with a new and improved user interface. The layout is more intuitive with the current automatic component displayed in bold, and you can also use a control key to assign multiple components from the associated list. In previous versions of the software, we could apply identification criteria to manage cases where the retention window of a component included multiple peaks. These types of criteria were the first peak in the window, the nearest peak closest to the expected retention time of the component, the peak with the greatest height, or assignment using the UV and MS spectrum matches. This release expands the criteria to include the second, third, or fourth closest in terms of retention time, greatest in relation to peak height, and largest peak in terms of area in the retention time window. The additional criteria will give the user more flexibility when looking for a positive and accurate match for peak identification. Examining audit trails is often seen as a complex procedure, but the process is made simpler using the new audit trail viewer. The data audit trail window now offers a studio icon that can open a read-only studio session for objects selected from within the audit trail. Depending on the type of data audit trail record, Chameleon will automatically select the category, whether it be injection list, instant method, data processing, etc., in the studio window, as well as the injection and data channel. This provides access to visually inspect any changes that were made. When an object is opened from the audit trail, we are essentially in a read-only view. This is clearly highlighted from within the associated category. Changes that affect the data cannot be made, although the view settings can still be altered, for example, when overlaying chromatograms or navigating to different layouts. Having said this, any changes that are made to the view settings will not be saved. This is so that the integrity of the original data is maintained. We can also identify the version of the sequence and carry out a full investigation where necessary. Taking the visual comparison a step further, we can also open up multiple studio sessions for the same sequence, providing a powerful and definitive way to compare and contrast changes from different versions. Here we can identify the changes clearly while providing justification and reasoning behind any manipulations to the data or its associated objects. In respect to compliance and user management rights, a new user privilege was added after feedback from industry. The privilege Modify running sequences can be enforced so that users are unable to modify sequences while they are physically running. We have also introduced more fine granular control of user management with the ability to define reduced system administrators where users have the ability to perform some but not all administrative tasks related to user management. These tasks do not require the privilege manage user database. This allows for the creation of roles with the ability to perform routine tasks related to managing users. In such a role, an administrator would be prevented from granting themselves higher privileges than what they were originally assigned. In addition, when creating or editing users, they can only create users with the same or less privileges and access. For this purpose, each user now has a new tab called Manage Users. 
On this page, the user may be granted full or limited administration rights to perform actions such as managing user database policies, access groups, or roles. The full list of options can be seen on the slide. When editing a user in the user database, a new toolbar button called Reset Password is now available. This option provides a corresponding dialog to facilitate the workflow involved for resetting passwords. For users with a valid email address, the new password is emailed to the selected user and is not disclosed to the administrator who executed the reset. The new password is generated randomly and must be changed the next time the user logs into a Korean client or the administration console. Where users have records with an empty email address, an administrator can manually enter in a new password, or again they can generate one randomly. The currently visible password in the new password field becomes the new password of the selected user. This user must then change this password the next time they log into Chromelion or the administration console. When choosing the detection parameter, smoothing width equals auto, the Cobra Peak detection calculates a specific smoothing width value for every single data point in the chromatogram. For greater transparency and record completion, a new report variable called effective smoothing width for Cobra can now report these values. In the administration console, the existing user database policy to manage automatic locking of client PCs after a period of inactivity has been enhanced to allow the system to automatically close the studio and console of a client PC. Closing the client will also free the user licenses that were being consumed by that client, which will boost continuity if a user has left themselves inadvertently logged on for long periods of time. To avoid the loss of any changes that have been made, if there are any unsaved items opened in the client, then the client will not be closed. Chameleon version 7.2.10 adds new options for importing mass spectrometry data from external applications. When importing data from either of the following two file formats, if the contents include mass spec data, then this will be included in the import process. The format Generalized Analytical Markup Language, known as GAML, allows XML data generated by the Thermoscientific Data Manager, SGMS, to be incorporated. And CDF files, known as ANDI, NetCDF, or AIA, which are the general interchange formats supported by most major vendors, allows third-party data import, increasing functionality for data processing and reporting. Allotrope Data Format, ADF, has also been included to the list of available export file types. This is an emerging standard for universal data exchange and for long-term data storage in archives. If you want more information on Chromelion CDS, then please visit thermoscientific.com forward slash Chromelion, where you can find helpful links to all our relevant Chromelion software solutions, as well as resources and associated collateral. Our mascot Charlie also has his own Facebook page, where you can connect and share and follow his adventures as he travels the world. It's also a portal where we post information on events and provide comedian tips and tricks. Finally, we have a customer forum on LinkedIn called the Chameleon User Group. This is a place where we actively encourage you to discuss Chameleon CDS with us and your industry peers, sharing ideas and thoughts on current practices and improvements to your existing workflows. And with that, I'd like to thank you for listening and wish you a goodbye for now.